we're going to take this stump and turn it into a vise so that I can sharpen dad's saw. I didn't know if you guys have ever seen how to use a stump to make a vise instead of having somebody hold the saw for you. So uh, I've never tried it. Uh, we'll give it a go see how it works. Is we're going to split the wood down the middle and then we're going to come up here and we're going to cut this groove and this groove needs to be no wider than your bar on your chainsaw and then you're going to come down here and we're going to create a hinge joint that we use our wedge and once you drive your wedge in it closes your vise right up and then gripping your saw so you can sharpen your chainsaw in the field so we'll show you the process Uh, so I just need to cut out a little bit more on the bottom for the uh, chain groove. I've tidied this up a little bit to where, to where my gripping jaws is only the thickness of the bar so that when we tighten that down with the wedge, it, your saw will be supported and uh, you'll probably go ahead and use your, uh, your dogs. I would almost, I'm going to grip it, grip it into the stump and uh, um, there we go. Um, hey babe. Yeah. Can you hand me my little wedge? It's in my hand. Oh, before I couldn't find it. Um, all right, just tap it in. Tap, tap. tap a -roo. Ha! Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Now I need to just put the stump in my garage. There you go. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna sharpen dead saw. Oh, who? I need the uh, I need a black permit marker. It's in the other pack, and then we'll mark the tooth and get it sharpened. All right, see you for now. After sharpening dad's saw, I did have one thought, which this wasn't thought out. Um, you know, we were just out here tinkering with a um, axe. I just made a custom um, oak handle on. And so I just cut the tree down, but then had the hindsight thought to, oh, let's use the stump. If you're going to do this in the future, make sure your stump's taller to where you don't got to bend over while you're sharpening because it catches you right in the back. So next time, if I'm going to make another one, if, if I find another dead tree that animals aren't in, I'm going to cut me off one about here to where you can actually sharpen your saw at a uh, nice standing height. So other than that, this worked flawlessly. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,